was definitely not an overweight person as a child. I was a cheerleader in high school. I was a softball player. I felt very pleased with my body. I think I started gaining weight probably around the age of 21, 22. And that was really um, after I got married, um, after I started to settle in into working full-time, being a full-time student and being a full-time wife. When the marriage was over, um, I just entered into a bout of depression. It was, it was extremely hard on me because I felt completely alone. I think at that point in time, I would sit at home waiting for someone to show up who wasn't going to be here. And I medicated myself by eating food and secluding myself. Prior to the surgery, I was very concerned about Victoria's health. Mainly the weight was playing against her, not with her. And of course, I became very concerned because she started not being able to walk. I had the best girlfriends. You know, our guilty pleasure is going out to lunch together. Even going to lunch became a task. It was very, very difficult because, you know, if you go into a restaurant, sometimes you can't fit in the booth. It was just after a couple of moments like that that my girlfriends one day just sat me down and they both looked at me and they said, you're going to die. And that's when I realized I had to have the surgery. I went in to see Dr. Nishi about having a gastric bypass procedure done. He made me feel at ease. For someone who sees obese people every day, I didn't feel obese when he looked at me. Within the first three weeks, I shrunk out of my size 24 clothing. I was a mad woman in the gym. I loved going to the gym. It was crazy how much weight I started to lose. Now what I can say about Victoria is that she has achieved the goal that she set forth forth for herself, the number one being losing the weight and maintaining it. She looks beautiful. Two years post-surgery, I currently weigh in at 145 pounds. I weighed in at 306 pounds day of surgery. This is the best life I've ever had. Uh, I definitely believe that uh, God is smiling down on me right now and I have the world at my fingertips.